We're back, everybody. Welcome back to Good Influences. Today, we're going to be talking about things that we thought were true when we were youngsters, children, and kids that are actually not true at all. Uh, I wouldn't call them urban myths exactly, but maybe just some... I feel like kids just always think things are true. Yeah. That, I, like, are not. Because we're trying to make reason of the world that we're in. And you want yeah. to make sense of it. And it's there's a little bit of beauty in the perspective of a child. <laughs> I also want to bring up... The whole reason I had this idea was because I was with our friend Danny. And we were talking about something about childhood. And I would like to hear your guys' perspective on this, too. Because both of us figured out we were both horrified of anthrax like when that whole thing was happening yes oh yeah horrified of anthrax i literally thought th they were like i remember i was going to the mall with my mom at night it was probably like 6 p.m but like daylight savings was dark and it was dark outside so i was all freaked out already and i was like they're gonna be pumping anthrax through the mall air and i'm gonna <laughs> die like that's what's gonna this happen post 9 11 yeah, like so time? anthrax i i read that whole thing happened a month after 9 11 so they it was were very getting close. mail like the white house was already was... on edge Already yes, on edge. The country was on edge. Like, Anytime I heard an airplane sleeping in bed, I would like run to my yes. parents' yes. room. Oh, wow. Um, I was fucking. And even our friend Danny was like, I remember I was at my friend's house and we I saw like kids soap and residue. You were an old adult. What? Nothing. Nothing. Me and Aaron always have these She's little speaking. snarky things we say to each other. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Um, my friend Danny was like, I was at my friend's house when I was little and I saw soap residue in the tub and I was scared <gasps> it was anthrax. Like, we were both like that about it. And so, in all. In my head, I'm like, was everyone like this as a kid? Like, was everyone freaked out? And then I looked it up and I was like, only five people died from anthrax. I thought people were dropping left and right from getting anthrax and mailed to them. you know what them. was actually happening with the anthrax thing? Uh, like, they were just mailing it. They only mailed it to, like, one or two places. But it wasn't even, like, a terrorist thing. It was scientists mailing it <laughs> back and forth to each other for, like, testing purposes. No way. And no. the mail was really? one at the, the White House where a woman opened it up, and she realized yeah. what it was and, like, stepped back and walked away. She Recently didn't die. or back in the day? Back, back in, like, 9-11 like, like, days. Nine, yeah. I remember, maybe, I, ha I haven't looked this up, so I could be wrong also. But I believe I read that, like, at least one of the anthrax things was, like, scientists were just like mailing it and the mail got messed up and sent to the wrong address and that's what happened it wasn't even like oh. a you know Does anthrax kill you like the, okay, the so instant you see it you touch it. it sniff it what's so going basically, on like if, fentanyl? You, if you inhale it it takes days to do anything to you and oh, it's, God. it's completely treatable but if you don't get it treated then you can die cipro was the name of the uh medication oh. S C I P R O. to remember, treat it I, yeah like i remember all the parents at like a pta reunion were like okay so we need to like figure out how to catch cipro in case okay one so of people us... were freaking out right i mean not really i don't remember freaking out about it at all oh, i could i was, I was like, like they're not mailing it to my house like i'm but i thought that I thought everyone had like the opportunity to get mailed anthrax. You think they're mailing it? To <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> glitter bombs. It's anthrax <laughs> bombs. Literally, I was like, fresh. I'm not touching the mail. Like, I don't. I was scared when the mail would come. It was like a whole thing. How do they make oh. anthrax? Can anyone make it at home, or is it like? Ooh, let's Google no. that. How to make anthrax? Could at do home. it for a YouTube video. <laughs> we, <laughs> we, we, anthrax. DIY anthrax. <laughs> we just have these gas masks. What a perfect name, though, for such like a, a lethal anthrax. powder. Anthrax. And there's it's a, a band good called name. Anthrax too. Could be like a cute kid name. And then the Eminem song. Anthrax. Anthrax on tap. Tampax. <laughs> I don't know that. Yeah, it's an M &M what is song. it? Oh, Anthrax on Tampax. I'm not exactly sure what the song is. Now, with all of these uh, these things that we thought were true as children, this can be on any spectrum yeah. of our of our childhood, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, anything. let's not go to like two weeks ago where you thought something. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, though, like these nostalgia episodes, I feel like I'm sitting in the dark because I don't remember anything what? from childhood. Well, yeah, I just like don't have memories like that. But like, uh, uh, like Bloody Mary, I remember yeah. like that scared the shit out of me. But did you think it was real? Of yeah, course, probably. I, well, yeah, like, no, I would get in the mirror and like count, but I would never make it all the way because I'd be like, what I was can't, it again? I can't face her. You, you go into the bathroom and like turn off the lights, and then you close your eyes or whatever, and you're like, you say her name three yeah. times. Yeah, I don't even like say Bloody Mary. But I was like, oh, I can't get there. Were you like, I was told you bring a red crayon in. And that's oh, one way to yeah, summon yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you say Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. And you turn around three oh times. God. I did it all the time. I didn't care. I, I was like, there's no way this is real. Like, guys, we're not. Well, would be two kids would be like, yeah, I saw her. And then it's like, oh, I just want to see her so bad. But then I'd be like, I can't. I don't want to see her. Actually. I would never want to see her. That's so scary. No, I know. But I tried it. I remember I had just like, it was a dinner I went to at the 99 restaurant. Love. Got some gold fever wings, a strawberry shortcake, went home and was like, I'm going to do it. And I went in our downstairs bathroom and I like started saying Today's it. And the then day. I was just like, I can't. No. Nope. You didn't do it. No, I started. Would you do it today? 
No. You after do after it. a couple glasses of wine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I and like it's Let's still do it. I, <laughs> Yeah, no. no. I don't know. I like wanted to see her. Like when I did it, I was what like was she staring like? in the mirror. I don't know. That's what like I wanted Carrie. to know. Like Carrie, bloody. <laughs> oh. Who cool. directed Carrie? I don't know. Not Wes Craven. Who cares? Who cares? Okay. Who cares? Oh, now, were there any other superstitions though, as a kid, that you were like, "Oh, step on a like crack, a crack, you break your mother's uh, back." When you're really Not little. really. I feel like mine weren't like that. Mine weren't like. Yeah. Yeah. Like the guy under your bed. Uh, Like the boogeyman? Yeah. yeah. No, I never that really believed scary. that. And, and especially when they made the real movie about it, I was like, is he real? The movie boogeyman? Yeah. Oh, that was a bad movie. Scary. I saw it in theaters. <laughs> Wasn't it like the brother from Seventh Heaven in yeah. it? And like the crow hits his like Do windshield? You know Seventh Heaven's on streaming now? Is it oh, really? God. I actually have Seventh Heaven in one of my uh things that I thought were like true? wrong or true. Okay. Remember the Seventh Heaven oh, theme song? God. Well, that's because they're fear mongering Christians. Yeah. Like, there's a guy, have you seen the guy on TikTok that's like recapping the show? Yes. No. Yes. Oh, he it's goes, like, I've been re watching Seventh Heaven, and here's the drama of the episode. And it's like this it's girl so wants dumb. to drive her car at night or something, and they have a meltdown. <laughs> you can't drive after dark as a woman. Jesus wouldn't want that. <laughs> oh, I yeah. thought, okay, you know the Seventh Heaven theme seventh song? Seventh yeah. Heaven. Oh, yeah. Seventh Heaven. You're a loving family. Seventh Heaven. heaven. You, okay, do you know that when Weezer song? Hey, okay, you know that Weezer song that's like, Heaven, heaven, or holiday in the oh, sun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought that was the seventh heaven theme song. <laughs> Why? I, I, thought they were going, the song. I thought they were going, seventh heaven. <laughs> Yeah, trust me, I'm like seven or six, but when I would hear it, I'm like, oh, yeah. that's the Seventh Heaven theme song, yeah. and it's like popular on the radio. Oh my gosh, and that's like kind of like Carly, Carly thinking Katy Perry was on that Gautier song. Yes, I thought that was her until like oh, a year or two thought ago. thought it was Kimbra. A year or two ago. Yes, it sounds exactly like Katy Perry. <laughs> when I first I heard... That way. Like that's Kimbra. Just like her. Yeah. Well, I, I was a huge. I used to see her live in New York all the time. She's she was so such good. a good artist. I thought when the song that song got big, I like found it on like Hype Machine or whatever, and I thought it was an old like Sting song. It does kind of sound like Sting a little bit, like a little bit. But I thought it was like an old song that was getting popular again. But then no, and, and his it album is also he. I wish like I was still making music. That album he has is oh, I loved it. Oh my god, it's unbelievable. State of the art. That song, you know that song. If I heard it, it's anyway. Uh, Can listen on the way home. That this is something that is insane. Off title. We used to watch like movies, right? You watch movies when you're a kid, and I didn't really. <laughs> I like sure it. did. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, like so one time, I I think I watched like a Bruce Lee movie, and I used to think that the bad guys in movies were actual bad guys. <laughs> in real life oh. and that like part of like filming a movie is like wrangling this bad guy into like <laughs> participating in the scene and like when they would fight they would actually fight and then i'm like but like how did like what's going on after they cut like does the bad guy still want to beat him up and like how are they just like hiring bad guys and i was just like so scared if like they're you know you'll see an interview with an actor and i was like he's he's right there just get him just get him you didn't get him in the movie and i would like be scared to like i would be scared if i would run into an actor on the street that's like a bad guy in a movie like arnold schwarzenegger I, when i the terminator came out i sw i swear arnold schwarzenegger was like one of the worst people in the world i thought he was going to come to my house and kill me was he a bad guy in that movie in the first terminator he's a bad guy and then the second one he's, he's a good guy good. Alert. It came out in the 90s, Aaron. <laughs> but that was like, I'm like still somewhat, like when I see an actor in a movie from when I was a kid, like if I, like, I'm like a little scared to watch a Terminator because I'm like, he's going to get me. And it's like, like how are they, like, yeah. how does this guy just agree to this? He's going and <laughs> robbing banks during the day. And I was just going to sit down and pretend to fight Bruce Lee. Like, I don't know. It freaked me out. <laughs> I had kind of something like that with like also songs on the radio. My mom told me like, oh, that's them actually performing in the radio. <laughs> and so I thought every time you listen to the radio, the song they were oh. playing, that band was in <laughs> the studio <laughs> singing it for everybody. And I'm like, they're What's going around all, they're going all around the country. And they just sit there the whole day. Uh, every hour they're playing for everybody. Britney Spears radio. is in town right now in the studio. Oh, Let's go. My I, have, God. I have something similar. Oh I thought God. music career, I was, I was really little, so I'd never been to a concert or anything. <laughs> I remember watching, it was probably like Whitney Houston or something like, performing live on tv i thought your career as a musician was you perform one time and that was it <laughs> and i remember being like that sucks like, like they, you only get one shot i thought like, that it was just like one performance and then you're done i don't know why i thought that like it makes no logical <laughs> sense heck? but i really thought that it was like oh there's the performance and that would be like played all the time and that oh. would be because in my head i didn't really know about concerts i was so little or you know 
Hmm. I guess I wasn't thinking about the radio or well, anything. That's but... You know, it's true. Shut up. <laughs> Same with the bad guys. Oh, yeah. yeah how how did true. you think uh, babies were made? The stork. The, uh, the stork, for Is sure. you were told? Yeah, probably. I, thought, I don't know what I, I was told. I think you had to pray. <laughs> <laughs> Because, like, when you would go to, like, you know, like, uh, Bible school, like, study or whatever, you would learn about, like, baby Jesus. I was a miracle baby, but it was the Virgin Mary, but you didn't understand what, like, a virgin was. And you yeah. thought, like, oh, so they just, they sat around, they prayed, and they got a baby. And I thought, <laughs> that's how Babies a baby was born, is that you. It's very around. Texas of you. You just pray, and you get one, like, <laughs> yeah. that's... And then I thought, then finally when I learned what, like, sex was, I and also... And you spray and pray. <laughs> <laughs> and pray for the opposite. Oh, my I God. I thought, like, the guy, like, you had to, like, stick it in and keep it in the entire night. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's just what the Mormons do. Oh, like, like, it wasn't this, like, like oh. uh, this whole like, back and forth. <laughs> back and forth. It was, was like, just right, this let's go insert to bed. and go yeah. to bed. Like, like, bacon, like, like baking a cake in the oven. Yeah. You just <laughs> turn it on for 12 hours and just, now we wait. I'd be like, oh, I cannot no. sleep, sir. <laughs> Get out of oh. me. Let's see what else I have done. I also thought, you know, like, women have, like, you know, oh, periods. <laughs> but the commercials for like pads, it would be just like this blue. little blue, blue liquid. Yes. And I thought girls leaked blue liquid <laughs> <laughs> because they didn't have penises. I wish. <laughs> Why didn't they just make it red? That's so weird. Because that would be so icky. It would turn everybody off. Yeah, no one's yeah. buying I know, that but commercial. it's like real life. But yeah. It was just blue. They and I still thought, don't do it. <laughs> I know, but I'm just like, okay. you know, someone pitched that in one of the like, guys, come on. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing here? Yeah. Why do they even need to like show the liquid going? It's like a bounty paper. Because it shows the absorption. I guess. Like, yeah. Well, that's what it is. But it's someone's like, like, oh, the absorption on that is so good. I need to get that pad. Well, then again, I'm not a woman. Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's exactly a big, right. <laughs> big selling point. I'm really curious about period panties. Ugh, I hate the word panties. What is okay? I do too, but that's just what they're called. Women's underwear. You guys have that little like slit. No idea in there. what that's for. What is that pouch for? Pennies. Like... You put pennies in there. I don't think. I think it's to... <laughs> in case I you think... like run into a meter and you need. A... I think it's, for your it's just like a like a breathable. A... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you don't put the pad in? No, the... no. Oh that my would, God, be, that Matt. would defeat the purpose. Think because that then it would be under the I don't get that, but yeah. I'm like, what's the... That's, I, no, that is true. Like, I don't know what that's for. I feel like the Skims ones we got don't have that, like, pouch thing. They're just like... I have some underwear that does not have that, and some underwear does. Yeah, it's a very... I feel like it's all for, like, breathability. Yeah, that's so funny, Matt. <laughs> people, so... people that I know that have used period underwear have said it's life-changing really it's like incredible because i remember when i was like Ugh. i think i was in middle school i i Wait, bought you just a pair period into the underwear that's yes. what it is you're supposed to just like free bleed into it and it like it's got like absorption built yeah. into it i think it. like about putting it in the washing machine well you wash just, those like... you wash them all separately but then it's no, like how do you trust it that's my thing like i would not i, I mean it's the, they've done the research presumably I, it's a I whole company that, around yes yeah. i understand what that color they're pouring the blue liquid on them they're it's usually like, white what? no i'm kidding they're <laughs> it's, they're like dark black yeah, yeah but like i want to see what i did i wish yeah how did okay. i do today <laughs> yeah how how heavy is the flow when you guys pull out a tampon are you like sometimes <laughs> like today i didn't i was like oh it's still really just like brown yeah <laughs> it's like hasn't even started yet did you know that oh do you still put tampons in when you're like I'm just always wearing a tampon if I'm like about to have a period because I'm like, I don't want to deal with it. Oh, but then like pulling out a dry one? Yeah, it kind of sucks sometimes. Do they make like a spray you can spray up there to <laughs> lube it up? That... I just use the bidet. <laughs> spray it up there. Why not like a little panty liner before you get I started? That. I do that the too. The bidet? But... Are you like sitting I'm back kidding. on No, the... I don't actually use a bidet for Sitting that. the wrong <laughs> way on the... Yeah, I'm, I'm straddling the toilet towards the bidet. <laughs> but you can get your front. You can get the cooch. If you... Like if you're using a tushy? I do it all the time. Yeah, especially periods. Like, yeah. it's nice. Or oh. to, like, you know. How did we get on this topic? <laughs> well, I asked Period. about periods. Uh, yeah, well. What, anything? Uh, well, since we're in the bathroom, uh, the way that my parents taught us to potty train and use the toilet, like, it was, I don't know, this is Israeli culture or whatever, but the second you're walking, that's when you're getting potty trained. There's none of this, like, running around with a diaper on nonsense. So, but you you're, never wore a diaper. No, you wear a diaper, but then once you start walking, like that's when you start wearing, yeah. like going to the bathroom. You on never your have own. pull ups phase. Like, do you go straight from diapers to pull ups? That's my, my parents. Mm -hmm. And anytime they like talk to friends or whatever that have kids, they're like, the best thing to do is once the baby starts walking, get on potty train. It's like 
to have a kid that walks around with a smelly diaper is like insane. I mean that makes sense. But so anyway, so save some diaper. money. But you're so yeah. but when you're so little that like we couldn't sit on the toilet. So the way that we learned to like you use didn't the even bathroom, have, like, a little baby one. They we would just put like all fours like around the toilet. So you're kind of just like this. Like let's say this is the lip of the toilet. It's like this. That's like. And oh. so we pee like into the thing. <laughs> no, that's like the caveman way. Yeah, that's like, why, like you're, you should like sit. That's why they literally created the squatty yes. potty. Yeah, yeah. so okay. it's basically like you're squat, but like, like you're that. squatty pottying like across it. So like, yeah. you know, and so there, I remember one time I was like probably five or six and a friend came over and like walked in on me in the bathroom. <laughs> you were six years old doing that? I, maybe, maybe younger. Maybe like four caveman. or five. And I was just like, I was just like, <laughs> I, it was like, that's, you know, I was just like stayed on the toilet Get like out. with all fours and he looks at me and goes, what are you what are you doing rightfully and I was so like, i'm peeing and he goes that's not how you pee bud <laughs> and i just it like blew my mind that you could just stand there and pee wow yeah so you were just cavemanning it i was cave i would probably still be doing that today fours, <laughs> if that never happened oh my yeah. god your hands on a dirty floor uh, or, oh. uh, yeah oh. well not on the fourth they'd be on the seat. seat oh on the toilet seat oh so you're on all fours on the toilet seat. yes yeah. yes okay yes. that's yeah it's when you're <laughs> when you're a little kid it, it makes a lot of sense like uh ergonomically it works really well yeah but hmm. i'll try it today I'll, you know. <laughs> I'll whip out my tampon i still do yeah. it from time to time just to like you know re relive the old days but <laughs> the old days <laughs> it's, yeah that's why like it'll be so hard it, it's yeah, yeah it's a little yeah. bit of a core workout i like, like a plank i like cr crawling up the stairs oh. on all fours yeah i still do that sometimes <laughs> like, like, you if know i'm feeling lazy i'm like oh. so fun do you ever go down on your butt too yeah. just, go, 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 go. wait was the am i the asshole on here or our podcast we're talking about one how the boss i think Maybe it was on this one, <laughs> but the, somebody was like feeling funny in a good mood, and they like crawled up the stairs at work oh, yeah. on all fours, and their boss like got pissed at them. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like, like, what, what are you doing? I thought a sweet tooth was like a real kind of tooth <laughs> when I was little, to the point where like one of my friends. I remember I was at the mall cafeteria with one of my friends and my mom, and they're talking about sweet cafeteria. That's funny. Yeah, we were just eating our little. Japanese Treats. noodles or whatever yeah. and they're talking about sweets and my friend at the time was like oh yeah I have the biggest sweet tooth and I remember so clearly I go can I see it <laughs> I was like, what does it look okay, like wait how old were you I if you were like know. alone at the food court with your friends <laughs> no my mom I was with my mom oh okay okay it was okay, my friend okay, okay. and my mom okay. yeah okay. I was, I was like, really young <laughs> but I was 12. like a sweet tooth it's just like <laughs> it's a rainbow like a peppermint like <laughs> <laughs> swirls and yeah I was like what is a sweet tooth like that's so crazy. I mean, that's a pretty like, good one. That makes sense. He has yeah. a sweet tooth. Like, yeah. that's literally... Yeah. You could say, oh, he has a dead tooth. Like, that's an actual thing. Yeah. Did you guys believe in tooth fairy stuff, though? Of course. Yeah, big yeah. time. Until I smelled the dollar, and I was like, this is my mom's. Your mom's dollar mm -hmm. smell? Oh, like, because of the perfume in her purse? Yeah. And, Ooh. like, the lipstick or something. I, like, smelled it, and I was like, this is my mom's dollar, and then I figured out everything was fake. Mm. This episode is brought to you by Liquid IV, one of our favorites. Guys, if you have not tried Liquid IV, you have to use our code at the end of this and you have to try Liquid IV. It is truly one of our favorite sponsors we've ever gotten. Here we go. Now, hydration is not only for people that are training for championships and running marathons. It's all about daily maintenance. We love Liquid IV. We drink it before the show, during the show. We definitely use it when we're traveling. Sometimes maybe if you wake up not feeling so great or you just need a midday boost, Liquid IV is always with us because proper functional hydration is essential and liquid iv is the number one powered hydration brand in america their hydration multiplier is the one product you're missing in your daily routine you can use it first thing in the morning before a workout when you feel run down or after a night out with friends with just one stick you can hydrate real life two times faster than water alone plus get essential vitamins and three times the electrolytes as leading sports drinks liquid iv comes in 12 delicious refreshing flavors to keep your hydration routine exciting one thing i love most about liquid iv is how easy and small it is to pack i can bring a dozen with me on a road trip or a long flight and i know that i have them easily accessible it's so quick to make just pour it in mix it with some water and you're good to go my favorite flavors are the strawberry watermelon anything berry the acai berry anything fruity and fun is my favorite and one stick of liquid iv is 16 ounces of what and one stick of liquid iv in 16 ounces of water hydrates you two times faster and more efficiently than water alone it contains five essential vitamins b3 b5 b6 b12 and vitamin c 
and has three times the electrolytes of leading sports drinks. It's made with quality ingredients and it's non-GMO and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. Liquid IV believes that equitable access to clean and abundant water is the foundation of a healthier world. They partner with leading organizations to fund and foster innovative solutions that help communities protect both their water and their futures. To date, Liquid IV has donated over 39 million servings in 50 plus countries around the world. Real people, real flavor, real hydrating. Grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code GOOD at checkout. That's 20% off anything when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code GOOD, G-O-O-D, at liquidiv.com. I used to think Miami was a Hebrew word. <laughs> Miami? Miami? Miami was a Hebrew word. Because of the Miami boys. No, because my dad would say the word Miami with his thick Israeli accent. He goes, oh, yeah, do we in Miami? And I thought that that was, he was talking about his Amy, like M-Y-A-M-I. Oh. And then so one time we were going to Orlando and he goes, yeah, we're going to fly into Miami and we're going to go to Miami. And I was like, oh, do I have an Amy? And he goes, what? Because <laughs> I thought he had his own Amy and I had my own Amy. Of course. And I was like asking him about an Amy and I thought maybe it meant like grandma or something. And every time I hear the word Miami, I'm just like, I, I want an Amy so bad. For, uh, for me, uh, the state Ohio, I thought that's where like all the dwarves and uh, <laughs> the seven dwarves uh, lived. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off, off to work. Hi ho. I'm talking about when I was like four, Ohio, like Ohio. years old. Ohio. In my, in you my, knew what Ohio was when you were four? Well, because uh, there's a video where like my aunt and uncle they lived in Ohio and they sent us like okay. flowers or cookies or something, and my dad's with like the. Uh, uh, you know video camera the video camera and he's like Matt uh, who's this from I'm like Uncle Greg and Aunt Julie he, and he's like where are they from and I go hi ho oh. <laughs> they're from hi ho oh, from, like, so, so did you think that your aunt and uncle were little people <laughs> I just thought that they know <laughs> that uh, oh hi ho hi ho I'm like Ohio that's all the same place and thing I don't know pretty lit yeah I also thought, like, our, we used to have placement, or, you know, what are they called? Place mats. Yeah. Where you would eat. Mm -hmm. And my parents always would give us, like, it's it was the United States. Mm -hmm. And so, like, whenever my dad was on a business trip, my mom would be like, your dad oh. is in that state there. But I thought the borders of the states were roads. Oh. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, so he's actually. down the street over <laughs> here. And if we go up there, I thought you could, he's like. He's just right there. Yeah, yeah. I thought you could, like, end up, if you follow the directions of the borders, that those were That's roads. That's so funny. I mean, it, it should be like that to be yeah. honest it's like why are they not robes <laughs> i think i've said this before too but i'll say it again because i don't know if everyone's seen every episode but i definitely have a memory looking out of a plane window when oh, i was yeah. a kid and seeing the state names written on the ground like in the cartoons and i i'm telling you i have a memory of like seeing the word <laughs> texas on the ground and i looked down and go hi huh, it really is like that like bugs bunny was right when you like oh, travel wait. across the country and I, I swear I have a memory of seeing Texas on the ground. I don't know what happened to my brain, but... Oh, so you're just like a hallucination? I must have been hallucinating, because I... Or maybe you were looking at a map, and then you were like flying, and then... I mean, I was like five, yeah. but I, I like... That's a me that's like one of my earliest memories, is like, I was on an airplane, and I wanted to see if it was like the cartoons, and it was. That they should do so that. Funny. They really should. We should organize that when you fly over the country, <laughs> if you look down, oh, there's Arizona, and it says... Arizona. If I'm president, that's that's gonna be one of my first things in office. I used to think returning things like clothes or whatever was like a huge no no. Like you like you can do it, but they'll like be pissed off at you. Yes. And I yes. remember like the, we always talked at Kohl's and I remember going to like the Kohl's customer service in the back and my mom had to return something and I was just like so scared. Yes, I, like, yes. I, I like, felt like that too. I was like, they're gonna be so fucking mad at us. And oh I was like, God. I can't even look I mean, I had so much anxiety as a kid, I was scared of everything, but I was just <laughs> like i couldn't even be there i was like i'm gonna go walk around like i can't handle this like oh confrontation of them being upset with you for returning something i thought it was the worst thing you could ever do i mean i'm sure that there were times that you've been to a return center and like the 14 like, oh. year old that's working there is like really you got to return all these things it's just like there's always and people are always arguing at the return center you need a receipt well i don't have the receipt i bought it here yeah. you check it out and like that might have just gotten your brain of like i don't want to i don't want to mm -hmm. deal with that yeah Aaron, anything? No. No I memories? Said mine. <laughs> I always thought the moon, like if there was a half, like a, not the full moon, I thought the other part of the moon was somewhere else it in is, the sky. It is. No, it is. Shut up. <laughs> so remember there was like half of a moon outside? Yeah. And I was like, what I is mean, the other half? People probably thought that for like thousands of years. Okay, so I'm not like that crazy. No, no, that, that seems like a pretty rational, like whoever the first guy to figure that out was, is like, wait a minute. How is it so invisible? 
What is in front of it? The earth. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like you can't see it at all. It's the earth is blocking the sun. So the moon no, I is here. I understand. This is the how... dark side of the moon. We it's never... dark side. <laughs> <of Floyd. laughs> yeah, the moon, the face of the moon that we see is never different. Yes, like, because we are tidally no, locked, uh, as it's I called. I know that. But she's saying, like, when it goes from, like, a waxing crescent to a waning oh. crescent to a full moon. I'm like, you literally where does it go? can't see it. But it's because the Earth is in, in between. It's like putting your hand up with a flashlight, and then the flashlight's not getting through. I know. It's just crazy that you, like, can't see even, like, a where it was. I thought, like, a no, your nose, I thought that was plural, and it was, like, <laughs> one no, two no, <laughs> nose. Like, that, the nose is, like... You know, like like rows of things. It's a nose. Yeah. It's a plural that's thing. That's pretty yeah. good. I thought that like no, for like, nostrils. Like uh, it was. Uh, yeah. No, for, like, that's a pretty while, good. So I was like eight or nine. I was like, oh, it's just a nose. It's a nose. Yeah. That's it's so a nose funny. of things. Yeah. Also, you know when like you blink one eye and you blink oh, yeah. another, and the whole world shifts. Yeah. I thought the whole world was like Actually shifting moving. for me. That they were like, oh god, he's. <laughs> <laughs> meetings happening <laughs> they're like do we think he's gonna do it today <laughs> I, I had something sort of similar you get on the news chaos today <laughs> all of chicago is downtown is the rubble. little boy is shifting things <laughs> from left to right <laughs> 200 dead the sears tower has collapsed <laughs> matt king uh, in texas is no broken texas matt king is closed oh, one eye <laughs> Dude. I kind of did a similar thing. I remember when I was I was in my living room and for some reason I was staring at the ground spinning around <laughs> and everything was going so fast and I when I looked, I feel like this was my first experience like spinning and looking up and everything was still going. I scre I like ran upstairs. So I was like something just I thought the world was doing yeah. that. I was like freaked the fuck out. Get, spinning though was like so much fun though, as a kid. Like, what <laughs> a know. rush. Now you can spin nauseating. around and just get a hit. It's of, like doing like, drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, remember those like things you would sit yes. on and yeah, you would just yeah. spin that uh, shit? Oh, I mean, it's yeah. kind of like getting drunk because you stand up and you like can't really stand up straight and you're just like, <laughs> yeah, it's sick. Love a good spin. Oh, man. Do we do, uh, do we have some... We have a lot of... Submissions? Submissions, and I was lolling looking at some of them yesterday. Also, I thought the D in Disney was a G for like... Oh, me too. Everybody does. Yeah. Disney. Yeah. Why didn't they do a couple of surveys on that logo? <laughs> he you know? was a known anti-Semite. I don't think he was caring about Ooh. what people were. And so I think you're going to go there next week after all he did to Mike. Well, he didn't really do yeah, that. I'm Mike kidding. was just saying, I want to go. <laughs> to where? I missed Disney, it. Disney World, oh, Disneyland. Oh, oh. Um, uh, oh, I just want to say one that like everyone thought. I feel like as a kid, the light in the car was illegal. Yes. Yeah, the light every on. Turn that off. Which is crazy, but like every kid was told it was illegal. I feel like it makes sense. Wait, is it a, a reconfirmed? It's not illegal. Or it's confirmed? not illegal. You can drive around at night with you your can. interior it's lights on. It's just dangerous. It's yeah. for the not But it's dangerous for the people behind you. No, right? it's, it's dangerous, dangerous for you. For you. It's As dangerous the for driver. you. It's hard to yeah. see. Because it yeah. creates an interior glare on all of your windows so you can't see out the front window anymore. Oh, my it's parents so were like, it messes up the people behind well, us because they're seeing whatever. a different level of like light depth and they don't know if you're They just didn't want you to think that they were weak. Or maybe that was also true. Yeah, maybe uh, it affects everybody. But I mean, yeah, if you're a parent driving, like telling your kids the government's going to come and get you, like that's such an easy way totally. to shut your kids up. There's that, I mean, yeah, there's just so many, like yeah. we're going to put you in jail. Yeah. I also thought Osama bin Laden was like going to be in my, come into my bedroom and like kidnap me. I was Osama like, bin Laden? Did your parents yes. tell you that? No, but I was just. Carly, if you don't eat your peas, Osama bin Laden. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna decapitate you in front of us. Yeah, like, I, I always thought these are just like your fears. And no, not I was so freaked out about. Osama bin Laden's coming after you for not eating I your thought, vegetables. Okay, nine eleven fucked me up so hard. Like I thought. A war, okay, so we were going to war, right? I thought there was literally gonna be people running around in our backyards, like yeah. with guns, and I was like, how am I gonna survive a war? I, thought yeah. that, I was scared of the Columbine kids, or I thought that oh, really? they were still alive because oh. my like grandma would have really these like National Enquirer tablets or whatever and they would show like the surveillance uh like pictures of yeah. the kids and i didn't know what it was but i know that these kids killed their friends and i was oh like my God. convinced that there were like kids out there to kill other kids well, yeah there are yeah I, right it was now like before are. school but it wasn't like i was scared of a school shooting i was yeah. scared of the columbine kids yeah. coming to kill me 
I was topic. so scared uh, <laughs> of school in general. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next episode is just going to be Carly's list of fears. Oh my god, I have so many. And so that'll yeah, be a three-hour special. <laughs> I, I thought Osama bin Laden was going to like come find me. And... One time, a girl told me in third grade that her uncle threw up his heart. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait. Wait, what? Who is this it? girl named Harley. Actually, it was first grade. Her name was Harley, which was such a. Wow. Is, Harley oh, Crockett, I think, was her name. Harley she, Crockett. Dude, I know. And she she told me she was, yeah, well, my uncle, he threw up his whole heart. And I was like, <laughs> so anytime I was vomiting, I was oh, no. terrified oh, no. of, like, that my heart would come oh, no. out. That that That's was so possible. Well, Thought that for the whole. and everything. Oh. Yeah. Threw up his heart. That is, oh my god, I was not expecting. <laughs> and then one time I was sick and I had a red popsicle and I threw <gasps> up and it was red and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> the blood is coming. Today's oh the day. God, I'm oh god. dead. I'm oh dead. No. Harley. That's good. Okay, Matt. I have a lot screenshotted, but I'm also just gonna go through like newer ones for now, so it might take me a second. Should we pass them around too, or you want to read them all? What? Yeah, we can. You can read them all. Um, someone said, I thought when you went to the movies, the actors were acting it out in another room in real time. Oh, <laughs> kind of like the yeah, radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Big object. <laughs> <laughs> what a dumbass. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> we're just making fun of all these people. Yeah. You're fucking stupid. We don't laugh. We're like, <laughs> someone said they thought drinking anything after 6 p.m. was illegal. <laughs> What? I need like oh, I thought drinking. I thought drinking and driving was just drinking in general. Somebody oh, else said yeah. that in like, here. You could, you oh, yeah, someone drink. else said that. Oh, back to the movie thing. Sometimes I'm always so surprised that when I was a kid, I didn't realize that the same actor was in like another movie. Oh, yeah. Like the kid in Jingle All the Way is Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> In Star oh, Wars. Oh, you're like, how did these like, connect? How did, oh, did, why did Hayden no one Christensen? No, 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 no. The little boy, Jake oh, Lloyd or whatever. Okay. That no one pointed that out to me as a kid, and now I'm older. I'm like, that's the same kid. Why? I just thought my younger self that's would have really, gotten a yeah. rush. But. God, ugh, this is not me. One of my remember Adam Sandler, huge actor, Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, and then we went to go see Fast and the Furious. Oh yeah. And my friend, when we were in whatever sixth grade. He was like, I can't believe Adam Sandler shaved his head for that role. No. And he just thought Adam Sandler was in every movie. And he thought that Vin Diesel oh. was Adam Sandler. And he was just like so like shocked that Adam Sandler looked so different in that movie. He was like, dude, it's a different guy. <laughs> his name is Vin Diesel. It's a different guy. Were there other movies that he was like, oh, he's this guy in this movie? I think it was like the third movie he'd ever seen. So I think he just thought that Adam Sandler was like the only guy in movies. Oh, They look nothing alike. I know. I know. It was insane. He's like, I can't believe Adam Sandler shaved his head for that role. I was like, oh, my God. It was insane. This episode is sponsored by Factor. With the busy fall season already in swing, you might be looking for wholesome, convenient meals for jam-packed days. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit, can help you fuel up fast with chef-prepared, dietitian approved ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, eat well, and stay on track with your healthy lifestyle. I, for one, you guys know this, I'm not a chef. I'm not a cook. I don't like to cook anything. Even making oatmeal in the morning, I'm a little lazy and I don't like doing it, okay? Factor is great because like I said, it shows up right to your door. You pop it in the microwave and you got a delicious meal right in front of you. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. You can level up with gourmet plus options prepared to perfection by chefs and ready to eat in record time. Treat yourself to upscale meals with premium ingredients like broccolini, leeks, truffle butter, and asparagus. With Factor, you can rest assured that you're making a sustainable choice. Factor offsets 100 100% of their delivery admissions source 100% renewable electricity of their product sites and offices and feature sustainably sourced seafood in their meals. This September, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered to your door. Ready in just two minutes. No prep, no mess. Head to factormeals.com good50 and use code good50 to get 50% off. That's code good50 at factormeals.com slash good50 to get 50% off. All right. So anytime I think of Vin Diesel, I'm like, it's the same guy. It's Adam. <laughs> the Hanukkah song. <laughs> Somebody said... I thought going to bed with your hair wet will make you wake up sick and blind. That's <laughs> oh, not like wait, going up. The sick part isn't true. No, this no, is a big common like misconception. Like going outside with wet hair does not give you a cold. Yeah, I feel like we talked about that. <laughs> blind is crazy. <laughs> she has but, some fucked up family well, members. Well, are... <laughs> it says Filipino superstition. Oh, so yeah. maybe that's like a common thing. Oh, yeah. I feel like in oh other cultures too, like that they like really fear monger. 
Yes, yeah. there's a lot of superstitions and a lot yeah. of like other cultures that are just passed down. Yeah, not here in America. We just believe <laughs> in freedom and, and the and boogeyman. Not getting the jab. Give me a, give me an eagle, at, at Carly. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Cock a doodle doo. Cock a doodle doo. McDonald. This man. one's like. I'm surprised I didn't think this. I thought Osama bin Laden lived in the caves off the river by my house. Oh my I could totally see that because on the news, everyone was like, I could totally see that. <laughs> I could. I could. I could totally see that. Because on the news, they were like, he's hiding in caves. We're trying to find yeah. him. And so if there was a cave near my house, I'd be like, that bitch is in that cave. Yeah. Like, have you checked? Uh, someone said, my dad told me if I adjusted the thermostat, it would malfunction and explode. That's a good thing to tell. It I is would a good tell thing. that Don't to someone. Want, I'm going to tell that to Nolan so he doesn't turn it off yeah. while I'm still sleeping. Well, it's not mercury oh. now. We, if what? you ate a thermostat? No, no, no. If you adjust the thermostat, oh. it will malfunction and explode. Basically, oh. they didn't want the kid to like change the temperature. I thought you were talking about like when you're taking your temperature. Oh, no, When no, you're no. sick that if you like... Oh, isn't that so weird? Did you ever use the glass one? Yeah. We had one, that we, put our, we had one that we put up to our ear. Yeah, that was like we a... Had to put on that's different like little a caps. bougie one, I feel like. Yeah, that's like a doctor's that. office Rich. one. And but now you can just do the one in yeah, Europe, on they, they I, shove it up their butt. I still feel rich when I do the one on my forehead, right, even yeah. though it was like $12 on Amazon. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm like... Mm. Oh, no, I keep it in my bedside table. I'm like... Mm. Every night, you're like, am I sick? Yeah. I also have my pole socks in there, too. Your what? My pole socks. Oh, I thought you were saying pool socks. <laughs> I was like, what are pool socks? Also, sorry I gave you guys COVID last month. <laughs> it's okay. We I had an outbreak. Well, I was sick, but I didn't test positive. But yeah. Well, that's because you weren't testing. No, he was. He was. I was. Oh, I tested were. once. Yeah. Tested. And I was sick oh, you as tested. a dog. No, you, you tested, tested one you time. You tested like a couple times, I thought. I thought you tested twice. I think no. you tested twice. Oh. I tested like I three times. Twice. I didn't get, I, it was, I was sick for like three days. And I didn't test till the end of the third day. But did you test at the beginning or the end? While he was sick. Yeah. But so did you. Yeah. I never got it. I know. I think you might uh, be immune. I yeah. think these kids, though, these days growing up in like... We grew up in the Osama Bin Laden days. They grew up in like these COVID days. Yeah. They probably have these really weird, like... I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Like, I you think, think Fauci is going to come get them? <laughs> the Show up in her bedroom with the jam. Yeah. I wish Fauci <laughs> would come get me. You'd be like, TJ, get out. Okay. You heard Fauci starting an OnlyFans, actually? I would... Oh my god. Is it for like he's not actually? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. Well people have OnlyFans and they do like cooking on there. Yeah. Whitney really? Cummings has it for comedy specials. Yeah. For like comedy that what like can't I, be put on YouTube. Patreon only fans. at that point. <laughs> um I think OnlyFans is like trying to get more people on to do mm. other stuff. Yeah. Um okay. My dad said if you eat the crust on your sandwiches, it makes you run faster. I was told Smart that the crust waste. in your sandwiches is where all of the vitamins are. The crust? Yeah. Is that true? I think it is. I could see that. All the, like, the, like, rides, like, all in the... I don't know. Maybe not that's rye, not but... true, but it's, like, because a lot of parents, a lot of kids just don't like the crust. I didn't like any meat, and my parents would just be like, oh, it's chicken. And then I would, like, eat steak. Oh, they would lie to you about what the food was? Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. like, what that is. Parents just lie to kids all the time. Yeah. Like, that's why I was like, but then you don't know which ones stick and which ones don't. Yeah. Like, you're just yeah. like, yeah, no, that's what it is. And then, like, three years later, they're like, well, that's what you said. Huh. Like yeah. the pickle thing? I thought that for like a very long time. What was the pickle thing? It was like, I was eating so many pickles. My parents were like, if you keep eating them before bed, you're going to have nightmares. There's a, I read a lot of those about people. <laughs> and Osama's going to come And Osama's going to come fuck you I remember up. lying to my little brother, Johnny, when he was like, I don't know, three and I was like seven. If he was like crying about something, I was smart enough to know the things that were like not true, but he was still believing whatever. So like there was a toy that he had. Deep memory I have. He has a toy that like, D Darone picked up and touched and now it's like ruined because it's not Johnny's toy anymore so I was like okay I'm just gonna run to Toys R Us really 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 fast oh, and I'll yeah. get you a new one and I'll be right back and I just told Johnny to wait in the other room and I picked up the toy and I ran to Toys R Us and ran back in nine seconds and Johnny just bought it and I was like yeah that's amazing <laughs> Yeah. Like, you could just lie to these children and tell them whatever the fuck you want to get them to... No, I was kind of lost. I thought you meant someone ran and, like, actually took it from Toys R Us and didn't pay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying exactly. I could, like... Exactly. Yeah. See, it works. Yeah, see, it works. Yeah, okay, I'll try that after Rose. this. I get arrested. Someone said, I thought pregnant women had to drink all that water in their belly. Oh. That's pretty funny. Just like a Chia Pet, you just, like, yeah. growing it over time. I thought sex ended when you get tired. Uh, for some people, kind of true. Some sometimes people. I guess. Sad. I thought my parents loved each other. <laughs> oh. Also, that carrots would make my eyes orange. 
That's a thing. I think that's maybe it makes a them thing? orange. It, if you eat too much carrots, the like I thought the it was orange, just jaundice. It's your whole body. Some people it comes in their eyes. Some people it comes in their skin. I saw a TikTok of a girl who's like, if you eat three carrots a day, you're gonna start glowing. And she was like tan, and she it's like a way to. Some people, if you eat the right amount of carrots and you're like pretty pale, it will have help. a little glow. Yeah, give you a little bit of uh, melanin in your skin. I oh. thought when you were playing like a video game against like a computer, you know how it'd be like the computer player. Mm-hmm. I thought someone told me that that was a kid in like Japan. <laughs> <laughs> so we were playing like international <laughs> kids and stuff. Yeah, that's a murder that child. Mm-hmm. <sighs> someone said Chat GBT. I thought that people's visions before the 1990s all had blurry vision that matched how the videos were. I guess I kind of thought that too. I thought like the 80s looked like the 80s and that's why Was there someone here that said that like before like the 50s just the world was black and white? No. No. That's what I used but to think. A lot of people, yeah. Like that you to... when you see like 1920s like you think that that was just yeah. the world. I know, it's but, so crazy when you see a picture from then colorized. Yeah, they did that. I think I've said this too about like Martin Luther King, that they <laughs> purposely, like the government and like all these whatever, oh, yes. were making all the like Martin the Luther King speech. Movement. Yeah, it's all in black and white to make it feel like it was so, so long, long ago. ago. And it was like uh, when our parents were Yeah, they, there was all color film, but they, you know. I always like to wonder that though, if you were to go back in time, suddenly you wake up and you're like in the 80s or you're in the 70s. Knowing that it's just like this, but everyone's just dressed differently and driving different cars. This may sound so stupid. I think that would really kind of mess with me, though. Because you have these, like, visions of what it is. You want it to have this, like, filter on it, but it's not. It is as real as this. And everyone's just wearing, it seems like, just costumes. Have you seen, like, the HD footage of, like, New York in 1990? Yeah. Where there's, like, 4K footage of New York people just walking. And, they yeah, they just are wearing funny-looking clothes. Yeah. But they're just, yeah, it's all the same. People are idiots. We're all... I just wonder, like, how long long you could last in, like, a whole different decade without, like, losing your mind. I think it's once the language starts to change, like, in the 1800s and there, ergo, to thou thou hast, and you're just like, what are you saying? Oh, yeah, for sure. Do you think you could go about, like, your day, like, in the 80s, like, no problem? Yeah, I was born in the 80s. (laughs) But how fast do you think it would catch, for someone to catch on and be like, you're not from this time period? Or would you just come off as... That'd be so interesting. Like... I feel like the way you, I would speak would just give it away immediately. Just That's be- so slay. <laughs> <They'd be laughs> like, yeah. Who was slain? Slain the dragon? Yeah, who <laughs> was slain? Not in the 80s. <laughs> Not me in the 80s. Yeah. No, you're in the 80s. Someone said, I thought everyone was born a girl and grew up into a boy. <laughs> that is literally true. That's how it works. When well, you're in the womb, you're... Well, that, you're, yes, yeah. but this isn't what she means. Oh, oh, oh. She means like... Kids are girls, and grow. Every girl grows up, and then they're, they're boys. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Maybe one day. Don't if tell, the liberals get their way. Yeah, don't tell Tucker Carlson. <laughs> Someone said, "I thought that TVs went to sleep at eight p.m." <laughs> Probably because their parents told them to good. go to bed. I like these are good parental tricks. Yeah. Matt? I thought Princess Diana was like the mom in the Parent Trap. <laughs> see that a lot of people think that yeah. too but yeah like i thought in that both died but i was like oh right Wait, she died natasha richardson oh yeah i don't know yeah in a skiing Ski. accident like in 99 oh my god it was that long ago i thought it was more recent or wait isn't that how no, sunny no maybe you're right you're right i may be totally wrong who sunny from sunny and share yeah he, he died, died in a skiing in, accident yeah helmets skiing Do you think ac- skiing is so he dangerous was, i think he was yeah, who, yeah. Um, fran lebowitz has a funny bit on that on what? On skiing, skiing accidents? Like, what she's saying? I don't feel sorry for people who die in skiing accidents. Sorry. Oh. Like, who, who told that? you to get on two uh, th- uh, two pieces of wood and go down uh, <laughs> a mountain? A mountain. Sorry. Like, yeah. That it's could be just for like anything, though, I feel. I know. It's Fran Lebowitz. No, though. but like, people aren't dying like playing baseball on the field. Yeah, they are. No, there are no, there's no baseball deaths, Aaron. There absolutely are, I bet. You think someone has died in the There's last year playing a baseball? One. There's definitely football. Fans yeah, like are trying to catch uh, home like runs. Like a, a ball just like nailing you in the chest? Or but like it's in not, your head? That's like, We're talking about people signing up for a leisure activity that is like very risky. Like very dangerous. It's like skiing is, I think, just as dangerous as like skydiving or bungee jumping. It's crazy that it's just this regular. It probably mm. depends like the slope. Yeah, but like real skiers are just doing an insane. It's an insane thing to do. I've never done it, so I don't know. Aaron does it. You ski? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like every goddamn weekend in the winter. So maybe don't talk about that. 
I think it's so more. scary. I, I can't ski do every it. year, but every, I've never tried. At, at the end no of the ski trip, I'm like, I'm never doing this again. <laughs> it's so stressful. Why? Um, it's, it's so scary. scary. Yeah, it is a, it, there's just a little bit of stress sometimes where I'm like, and like Here I'd we be go. afraid Osama bin Laden would come by me and get me. No, yours is the bears. Oh yes, I'd be afraid of a bear. But that's she not, died like, in 2009. Oh, oh, whoops, sorry. Someone said I thought snakes will come out if you play any instrument at night. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> stop playing it. Are people are still out. snake charming? Is that still like I'm, I'm sure? Yeah. I'm sure in like a tourist attraction, there's people like Venice Boulevard. Well, also like Yo, other if, countries. I would, in other never, countries for I would sure, yeah. never sit around and, like, and watch a snake charmer. That. I'd be horrified. What if you're in, like, a cobra Morocco coming or something? out and just looking at everybody. Do we think that they're actually listening to the music, or is there another right? trigger that they're getting? the snake to do What's that What's it with. called? Yeah, snake charming? No, they're definitely trained to like come out because that's when they probably feed them. Right, but I'm saying that it's not like the music is making them like, ooh, what's okay, this? Okay, it says, no, the charm has nothing to do with the music and everything to do with the charmer waving a, I'm going to say it wrong, P-U-N-G-I, a pungi? Pungi? Pungi, a reed instrument carved out of the gourd. Out of a gourd in the snake's face. Oh, so the he's playing it, but he's just waving the yeah. instrument and the snake Snakes is following Snakes don't have it. external ears. And can perceive little more than low frequency rumbles. Whoa, so they're so not even yell, hearing it. You can't even so you yell can play your instruments all night long, baby. Those snakes will not be coming out because they can't, can't even hear tell you. snake to stop coming near you. Stop. Yeah. No. Ew. Ooh. Do you think I always you... thought they had cute little like holes, little ears. <laughs> you, like, you think snakes are cute? No, but like uh. thinking of like a little tiny hole in its head is kind of cute. Thinking that's like their yeah. ear. Uh. Did you ever get the lizard? Or is it still in your house? Mm -hmm. Did you just put outside? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah, little baby. Uh, so many people said the light in the car. Also, a lot of people said drinking anything and driving was illegal, yeah. like even water. <laughs> wow. Someone said, I thought the friction from sex made the fetus in ovaries. Like, I didn't know the semen was needed. So they just thought, like, the friction created a baby. <laughs> Who was your sex ed teacher? <laughs> well, she might have been, like, very little. Have you like, seen the clip of the people from the 80s when they made drinking and driving illegal? No. It's like a bunch of people. It used to not be illegal? Yeah, you used to be able to drink and drive. Oh. It was not It was not always oh a lot. Well, you can't now? <laughs> Aaron. It's fine. It's, Her car drives it's, it's, Have you seen the clip? Uh, there's a new segment of them interviewing yes. people like, what From do you think about the new law? They're like, I think that's ridiculous. I deserve to have a pack of beer in my truck going home after I've served, you know, my What's time. What's next? They're going to tell my us when time. we can't how many beers we can drink when we get home. I want. I worked a, gl a long, hard day. If I want to crack a beer in my truck on the way home, this ain't communism. Where am And they sound just like anti-vaxxers today. No. Of just like. I mean, it makes sense if you're used to just like you could have a beer in your truck. Of course. Because the law is used to be you just can't be drunk. You can't be like over the legal limit. Yeah. If you're drinking a beer, that's fine as long as you you know you can have one beer in your car yeah. and drink and drive. And then the law became you can't even have the drink in your car. One of my friends has a theory though. That it, we would actually have less drunk driving accidents if you were allowed to drink and drive. Well, that's like how drinking ages are different in other countries and yes. younger, and like they have less issues. Yes. Yeah, because they weren't like stripped away from them. Yeah, stripped away from their <laughs> rats. I think if you're 18 and you're in the military, I think you should be able to drink legally. It, only if you join the military. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's I've been a great thinking about joining the military. Said, like. <laughs> Oh, I, I feel like if you're the one incentive to joining the military. Well, I feel like the drinking age should just be 19 because I don't think you should be in high school and being able to buy beer. I don't think that's like right. Why but not? I, but then, because then you buy alcohol for like other kids and stuff. It's like, it's but fine. I don't. But I think a kid should legally be able to drink once he's in college, like at like 19. Like, so the only people who should be allowed to drink at 18 are ones with college degree I actually think anybody at 19 should be able to drink but I think it's kind of crazy though there are kids who are like 18 in the military and they can't have a beer yeah it's that's insane. like I think you know my mom remembers when they changed it like she, they she was around it was like when she was in her 20s or something that they changed it from 21 it was county 18, 21. to county it would vary my dad had to like go over a county over to like buy beer when he was like 18 and yeah. bring it back like that's how yeah I remember because I lived in Nebraska and Iowa it was 18 I think so my dad and his friends would, like drive to Iowa which was like a 15 minute drive and then drive back. Where's Footloose drink. set? <laughs> I don't know. Mm. I mean, look at my Rolodex of uh, movies I've seen. Oompa Loompas are from Ohio. Oh, hi -ho. Oh, hi -ho. Oh, hi ho. The dwarves. The Oompa Loompas. <laughs> yeah. It, God, that new Wait. whatever. Go ahead. Okay. I think this still. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you learned something. Today. Well, no. Someone said, I thought that when 
they said bears hibernated. I thought it meant they slept for months. They we do. all thought this. But don't they? No. Apparently. See, I s still thought that to this very day. No, they didn't. What do are they doing? Just it's, chilling, I playing, think they like are sleeping like, like 18 hours a day and they're like barely moving when they're awake and they just like... Bear moving <laughs> <laughs> sorry continue. i think so i don't know the answer but i know recently this is like a new pop culture phenomenon oh where we've all been taught a lie that like i yeah. used to get told one of my teachers told me that they just like eat a bunch of like twigs and leaves and dirt to like pluck up their butthole yes. so that way they wouldn't poop while they were hibernating and then, the, like, by the time the hibernation was done, they would, like, poop it all out. Whoa. Yes. You heard I, this too? I, yes. That is a we. I have that in my... Some science textbook was just like, let's put this in and, like, <laughs> fuck these kids. You know, apparently, though, people are realizing that, like, their hamsters, when they died, weren't actually, like, dead. It was just your hamster was hibernating. <gasps> so if they... they so a lot of people are realizing that they bury like their hamster. Wait, what? Hamsters hibernate? Well, that's apparently something that they can do. And like, uh -oh. if you think your hamster's dead, you should give it like a couple of more days to like see if it will. Like, so you're just burying would it hamsters alive. Would not wake up though if you were like, like poking it, it? No, they like are poking. stiff as a board. <laughs> they I look if as dead mine. as po I think that's what happened to mine, and that meant we buried our hamsters alive. <gasps> oh, we got bad karma coming to us. Yeah. Someone said, I thought that someone was controlling all the traffic lights manually. I was stressed for them as a kid. I feel like that's like... I think that probably used to happen. Yeah, like the wizard. I just sometimes I'm always surprised when I go, to, you know, you go up to like a stoplight and it's like out of order. It's like flashing red on both ends. And I'm like, how do they not fix that? Is it not like on like some database? They go, oh, this one's out of service. Let's get it synced up. Does someone physically have to go to the intersection and turn it? reset it sometimes back sometimes it's a power issue sometimes it's a signal issue i mean it's it's yeah it's like infrastructure from the 70s if we were a re if we were a real country we'd get this shit fixed mm -hmm. interesting but instead, i also thought we're giving tax breaks to billionaires funding wars and keeping people on the streets i also thought like commercials trump 2024 <laughs> you remember like commercial you you for him again for a bit like again for a bit i really want to see him on a debate stage who do we think is going to be up there? It's going to be probably the two, the big two, the big two. Who's the big two? All right, the same ones Trumpy. from last year. It's fucking oh. so well, annoying. I'm down to I. Tr Trump is funny in a debate. I'm down to watch a debate. I would love. To I don't see want him debate. to win, but it'd be funny if he's, debating is pretty. Hilarious. If he's like literally in prison and he wins the presidency, like what <laughs> oh, happens? You're right. He debates for Zoom <laughs> <laughs> from prison. You're I, right. I, I forgot about I, that. I, I, so, uh, uh, I oh. thought I thought the like you know commercials where like you're watching the commercials and then one commercial start but then it switches like it's like yes, gone. Yes. I always thought like someone was in the control room oh, like shit. oh oh like yeah, yeah. They, like, messed well, up. I remember that happening a lot. It, it still was, happens to this still... day. It's local commercials that are paying for the slot instead of the national commercials, uh, and they just didn't time it out right. It's very difficult to get the exact like millisecond framing right. But yeah, interesting, weird. What? How, how annoying. I. <laughs> This one's like kind of interesting. They thought if you shaved your head like just down the part, all of your hair would fall out. That's like all connected? Yeah, I huh. guess so. I thought Reba had cancer because in the show song intro, oh. she says, I'm a survivor. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm a survivor. Or she has She's won the just game a show. Woman. Who's Reba? What's this? What? Reba McIntyre. A single, single mom, mom who works, works two jobs, jobs, who loves her kids and never stops. With gentle hands and the heart of a fighter. I'm a survivor. It's because she was a, right. like a single mom. Yeah. Who right. works oh. two jobs. Who this loves her kids and never stops. This is the woman who had cancer. She's saying this no, song. She, no, she, she thought she, she had, had cancer. cancer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like the TV, it was a TV show she had. So it was the theme song. She of had her, a TV show? Yes. Called Reba. And it basically was about like her and her children and her ex-husband. Dramatization like, or not reality real. TV? Sitcom. Not real. Reality oh, a sitcom. A sitcom. I mean, it's a reality Watch show. Track. <laughs> like Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Keeping Up With Reality with Reba. Oh, reality Reba. No, with Reba. I fucking loved the Reba show. Yeah. I watched it, I think it was like on a Friday nights. Never heard of this Nolan before. Nolan made her a, I think it was a martini. I remember we talked about this once at a, the bar he worked at. I love her. I love her in uh, the Little Rascals movie. Oh, I, I thought AJ Ferguson was gonna be here. <laughs> well, sweetheart, that's exactly who I am. Well, how about you kiss me up off the other cheek? Oh man, Donald Trump's in that movie. 
He is? <laughs> yeah. Oh my and Whoopi God. Goldberg. <laughs> that man is everywhere. Um, I, I, oh no, that was not it. I thought, you know, the, fr- uh, the Franz Ferdinand song, Take, Take Me, me I Say, you don't, don't you know? know? And he goes, I say, Take me out. I thought during that whole break, he was like, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and they oh, like, bleeped out. Bleeped yeah. out. Like, I say, you huh? fucking bitch. Take me oh, out. I like thought the it was radio like, version? Yeah, I thought it was just like, was he like was saying something oh, very funny. explicit. And it was just, that's really funny. What the hell? <laughs> Someone. Wow, that's good. Say, you fucking. So that then, song just reminds me of Guitar Hero. There's so many old songs, and I'm like, oh, I just want to like play Guitar Hero now. Yeah, like SOS. Um, it was such mom... a lonely game, though, to watch someone play Guitar Hero. Like, well, okay, no, you could get like the full band. Yeah, but most of the time, you just went over to someone's house, so you just watch one dude going. Couldn't like, you do two guitars? Yeah, yeah you okay. could. I think but, so. Yeah. But it was like sixty two. bucks but for then the, the thing. Screen, yeah. Wouldn't the screen be like split? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, my mom told me if I didn't say bless you to someone, a ghost would crawl up your nose. Oh. Are you guys blessers? Earthquake? Like yeah. when someone sneezes? Sounded yeah. felt like it. I believe in good Christian values. Did you guys not just feel that? <laughs> I did. Earthquake? That I earthquake? think it might have been the dog. I think it was something. But that let me see. felt like an earthquake. Wait, stop. I have quake feet. Oh, don't. I have quake feet. Nothing's in. happening. You have quake feet. Like yeah, just walking, and There's you're some... like, what is that? No, that that like that was on earthquake. It was not. No. No, I'm. Yeah, I'm feeling. Oh, shit. right now. Maybe the stairs are collapsing. I'm going on. I'm going on Twitter X. That's my my go to for. Wait, I'm. You hear all that no, stuff? No, he was just. He's like, probably just like walking around. I don't know, man. Because if I do this, does it feel like that? No. Okay. I was feeling right. it. The last earthquake it says was in Falls City, Texas, 11:50 a.m. 4.0. No, everyone in the comments oh, is gonna be like, one. "Well, they're talking about the earthquake from nine years ago." <laughs> <laughs> Imagine it's like a huge earthquake and then it's like dated. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's two weeks or late. Nah, maybe it's not. I've been feeling it like this whole time. I thought you were like no. hitting your thing on the ground. It might just be like the building. Sometimes buildings are just, you know, like that. Ooh, spooky. Um, someone said, my dad told me if I wore socks to bed, my feet would fall off. <gasps> Why? Why? What's wrong with that? I don't know. I actually maybe heard it's like good it. to go to sleep with your socks on. It like helps your circulation out a bit. Huh? I hate socks. Yeah, I know. I, know. I, I tried doing it and it, I didn't like I it, but like, I saw something. I feel like I always, when I was a kid, kept my socks on because I was so afraid of like someone grabbing my feet or like yeah. snakes. But like now I'm like, no. It, yeah, I can like go to bed with them on, but they're definitely coming off in the middle of the night at some point if I'm cold. Do you still feel the my, shake? A little bit. I feel like for me, since I don't wear bras, it's like coming home after a long day and taking off my socks. Oh. So it's like I get on the couch and I'm like, let the dogs loose. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I can wear socks all day. You know that song, Who Let the Dogs Out, is about women's feet, feet right? No, it women's is. Women's feet? No, it's, no, it's, oh, shut up. That's what I thought when I was little. <laughs> no, you know what it's actually about? Let me guess. The apartheid. Nope. Oh. <laughs> it's, Who let the dogs out? It's terrible. Okay, we'll say it. It's dogs is like ugly women <laughs> like who let the dogs like, like why are we the like, so be... shouting it at like our eighth grade dances yes i know it's insane it's like so misogynistic that's what i was told I, I, this is another theory i think it, it sounds pretty like if you read the lyrics apparently it's very a doggy is nothing if he don't have a bone <laughs> 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 who let <laughs> The Baja Men. The do- I, I always like. I might be wrong. I just read it one time and I was like, "That sounds kind do you, of." Do you remember their other song that was kind of good? Um, they had I, one more, right? Best days of our life. Oh, oh. yes. Best vaguely. days of our life. It was on the Shrek soundtrack. It was oh. so oh, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone so- said, "I sorry, this one just fucking funny." I thought seven actually eight nine, so I was scared to turn nine. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh, what? So I thought the power button on the TV remote blew the TV up. Someone's parents were like, I don't want this bitch turning the yeah. TV Yeah, there's a lot of these parental things that are just like, are you reading the lyrics for Baja Men, Aaron? I'm, I'm seeing if um, there's like a thesis statement of what the song is about. On genius, rap genius. The rhetoric of Baja Men. <laughs> It says that it's actually about men who catcall women and call them names and are disrespectful, and the women respond by calling them dogs. 
But they're singing by it the It says Baha the writer men. of the song explained the men started the name calling and then the girls responded to the call and then a woman shouts out, Who let the dogs out? And we start calling men dogs. Mm. But it's it was sung a by really man bashing song. But it's sung by a bunch of dudes. I think they're just like if the f- scripts were flipped. I think this might be a little bit like Who let the ugly men out? That's like the Beastie Boys saying that their songs were ironic when they actually definitely weren't. Like they came out recently and they were like the song Fight for Your Right to Party was actually making fun of like party bro culture, but like, mm. I don't know. You guys big Beastie Boys fans? I used to, yeah, we would listen to the album before the school bus would come and you know the song Girls? <laughs> Girls! Bum, bum, yeah, bum, bum, we would bum, literally, bum, bum, me and the, I was at like a daycare, but it was like, when I got a little bit older, it was like more family friend because we had grown up with each other at that point and they had two older daughters and we would run in a circle in their living room waiting for the bus and we would play that song. <laughs> that song is fucking Because it just like sounds like real circusy. Yeah, and that beat is crazy. Isn't one of their album covers they're like in a sardines can? Yes. Uh, Paul's boot. No, not Paul's Boutique. Yeah. License to I hated Ill, that song. Brass Monkey, though. I do not like that song. That's that right. funkey monkey! Oh, God. Brass Monkey! Oh, it's like uh, so that- chaotic. Do you see the thing about um, fuck, who's the guy that kept playing Smash Mouth? Um... Kept oh, oh, Stephen yeah. King. Yep. Stephen King's wife was like, I was going crazy. Cause, oh, Mambo number five. Sorry. He kept playing Mambo, non, m- the Mambo number five over and over, and it was like ruining their marriage. <laughs> like, I wonder why. Oh, I did ins- see that. What an insane song to listen to all the time. Stephen King <laughs> to play. <laughs> like, a little, a bit, little bit of Monica, Monica in your life. life. Like, a little bit of- Maybe he was trying to tell her something. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe he was like, I need, a, not, I need a little bit of Monica. Do you remember there was like a Disney version of Mambo number yes. five for Radio Disney? Yep. He was like, a little bit of Pluto in the sun. Yeah. Well, like, Radio Disney was like such a thing. Mm-hmm. Radio yeah. Disney, where and it was just like because <laughs> it was on AM radio. AM radio. It just sucked. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Like, you know, AM radio is just like it's just so muffled and it doesn't sound that good. I feel like it's the same as FM. No. No, FM no, is a higher AM's frequency. Way, like it's like Tidal over Spotify. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Someone said, for some reason, I thought I needed to tell aspirin where they needed to go when I swallowed them. I would say, it's for my headache, softly <laughs> into my hand before I gulp them down. That Aww. is a crazy thing that you take, like, the tiniest little pill, Advil, and if, like, your fucking toe hurts, your toe feels better. If your yeah. brain hurts, your brain feels better. Yeah. If your shoulder hurts, your shoulder feels no, better. No, ibuprofen is the only thing that gets rid of my headaches. Really? Aspirin, no. I don't even know if I've ever taken no. an aspirin. Me neither. What is aspirin? Is it a different I, thing? I just associate it with like people who keep it around in case they have a heart attack. It's oh, like, it's a blood, blood thinner. thinner. Yeah. Blood thinner. Mm-hmm. Someone said, I thought act- actors actually died during films, and I was confused <gasps> seeing them in other films. I was like, dude, didn't you die in the Titanic? <laughs> <laughs> Someone said, I thought having sex was two people bouncing their stomachs off of each other. Yeah, I thought that for a while. Bouncing Blizzard. their stomachs yeah, off each other? Just, yeah, in movies. They're just, oh, they're just wrestling around. <laughs> well, if that's not it, what is? what do you mean? <laughs> All right, well, I think this is fun. This was a blast. A blast? Yeah, from, from the, the past. past. That's a good movie. The if bunker. you guys did not have an opportunity to submit your own things you thought were true when you were a kid, comment down below. We'd love to read them and see what other yes. ones people agreed on and shared. Um, but please like this episode. Go watch our other episodes. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know if you thought Osama bin Laden was coming for you. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see what's coming for me. All right, we'll see when, you next when week. The day he died. Oh, rejoiced. Where were you? Actually, I don't, I don't know, even though. remember. I believe oh. it was that. It was Saddam Hussein. There Senior two... year of college, they killed Osama, and we were about to go out, and oh. we were like, "Holy shit!" They killed Osama. Obama's about to speak, and we put it on the TV in my bedroom. We were all pre-gaming for this party, and they started <laughs> the shot with the that room, and it's yeah. so long. And Obama just yeah, fucking I remember comes, that. Yeah, strut and like usually they start those press conferences. Like a runway. With, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and it was just we were just like, "Let's fucking go!" It was so sick. Did they or did they not like? stream the like beheading yes thing? of osama or of um uh they, there was a hanging video uh, there was a video that was leaked of them hanging. Yeah. there's also conspiracies saying. that we never actually got osama because we never saw the body and well, they they like disposed of him really quickly they said oh, no. they, they <laughs> dropped him that. in the ocean he's in the cave but, like, he's in LA that's, River. <laughs> it was just like very bizarre like we didn't see any footage from it we didn't see the body we didn't see it's any like evidence 
And then they said that they just like tossed it overboard. Like, why? This is one of the most biggest terrorists in American want, they history. They don't want people to assimilate around a burial site. Or like bring them back to the U.S. and fucking burn them up or something. I don't know. Yeah, true. I don't like, know. it was weird. They were like, I think they just didn't want to like own it or have it because like some people feel like that they should have the rights to a body like after. You know, Seal like if, if, if the U.S. was like in possession of the body, then some people would come attack, like demanding the body. I think that's the case. Sounds like good propaganda. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Well. All right. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Don't put us on any watch lists, FBI, CIA. <laughs> yeah. I know we said a lot about Obama and anthrax, but we're fine. Oh yeah, we'll we did a lot of 9/11 references. We'll see Mostly you next week. Anthra oh yeah, that wasn't this episode. Yeah. Okay. Bye.